Hello everyone, my name is Theophilus and I'm the cellist in Concordia Quartet. Today I will be documenting our third session of virtual rehearsal via the software Jamulus. In the first two sessions, it was a steep learning curve for all of us, especially with a trial and error approach to the technical settings involved, such as adjusting the microphone volumes and balance settings. This was kindly assisted by Mervyn, and Benjamin who rendered a great helping hand. This third session is considerably a huge step forward for all of us although we still have issues to fix. Our rehearsal managed to make good progress. To first do a sound check, we started off with a simple scale of D major, changing a note per beat and listen if we are able to follow each other. I'll count you guys in and okay. One, two, three, four. to move to another spot in the house near to the router since I was getting fluctuations in the Jamulus software and plug myself in using wired ethernet and we were off to starting our rehearsal. Finally I could start to rehearse the first movement of Borodin's string quartet number two and we as a quartet discussed suggestions on how to phrase the opening melody in the cello. say since we are solely relying on audio and not being able to see each other it serves as an opportunity for us to sharpen our sense of trust among fellow members <laughs> During this transition section of the music between Pizzicato and Arco, I would say we really have to trust each other instinctively and we discuss the phrasing and shaping into this section. Now, tuning has always been a point of concern in all string quartets and for this piece, the F sharp and C sharp in unison between the first violin and cello were the two notes we spent a bit of time tuning. This was a good time spent as we could see an improvement together as an ensemble. Since we cannot see each other, articulation becomes a challenge as we have to listen out and suggest to each other. In the example below, I worked on finger articulation in that particular section. Now, we had a discussion in the development section whether to go in the original tempo or to allow the music more freedom and then we came to a decision to find a solution in between. This does help the cello since the melody is in such a low register Giving the music space allows the child to speak more in its low register. One interesting passage for me was the tricky intervals that the child had to play, but it sure does add color to the whole harmony. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it and continue to follow us on our journey of a virtual rehearsal. See you!